All right, going back to the big story we're tracking here on Beyond Bullets One this moment, ahead of the declaration of the official results in Sri Lanka, Gotabaya Rajapaksa's camp has claimed victory in the Sri Lankan presidential election. Reports say that his main rival and ruling alliances candidate Sajit Premadasa has conceded defeat. However, it still remains a close fight between the two if we go by the numbers provided by the election commission. As per the poll body, with a quarter of total votes counted, Rajapaksa had 48.2%, while Premadasa stands at 45.3%. Remember, this is the first election in Sri Lanka since the Easter Sunday bombings in April that killed over 250 people. And in the meantime, felicitations are pouring in for Gotabaya Rajapaksa, the president of Sri Lanka. Ibrahim Sole has congratulated Rajapaksa on his election win. So, and we'll have more on this uh, on the phone line from Colombo. Uh, right, we have, uh, I'm told we have Zulfik Farzan with us on the phone line from Colombo. Zulfik, walk us through the results coming in. Is it officially the word that Rajapaksa will become the new president of Sri Lanka? Well, uh, just a short while ago, uh, Sabi Samadasa, the candidate from the New Democratic Front, issued a special statement uh, congratulating uh, Sri Lanka Purujanathan, who has been the candidate, uh, Gothabe Rajapaksa, his main rival from the opposing camp, on uh, being, becoming the uh, first executive president of uh, Sri Lanka. And uh, Sabi Samadasa also, in his statement, said that he would be stepping down from the post of deputy leader of the United National Party, the party he represents uh, with immediate effect. And however, he said uh, with consultation to the others within the party, he would uh, reflect on his political career and also uh, see who can be the possible replacement. And nevertheless, he said he would continue uh, to serve the people. Although the statement came in just a short while ago, the results of the presidential election are still pouring in with... Uh, Almost uh, half of the results uh, out, but we are still awaiting the complete results to be released. Uh, so that's the latest we have from uh, Colombo. If I can take a moment to read out what uh, Ibrahim Mohamed Soleh, the president of Maldives, has tweeted in the last few minutes or so. He says, and I quote here, warm congratulations to President-elect Gotabaya Rajapaksa for a resounding election victory in Sri Lanka. I look forward to working with your new administration to further the already close and fraternal ties between Maldives and Sri Lanka, unquote. I want to ask you, Zulfik, what would a Gotabaya Rajapaksa presidency look like for uh, the countries in the region and beyond? Well, uh it's still too early to uh, speculate on uh, what his cabinet would be because he hasn't mentioned who he would be appointing as prime minister or uh, who he would be including in his cabinet. Although his manifesto seems very really impressive about speaking on national security, uh, developing uh, agriculture, developing education, uh, the same, on the same lines of his rival, Sarit Samadasa. Both manifestos were on the same lines. So uh, it will be really interesting to see after the final results come and when the winner is declared and if Gautam Devar Sakse is declared the winner as well, uh, what kind of a cabinet and administration that he would form because he is yet to make any decision public on that matter. And Zulfik, very quickly, one last question to mention that it's not clear who the PM would be going forward. Is it theoretically possible to speculate at this point in time that Gotabaya may ask his brother Mahinda to join him as Prime Minister? Is that is that even uh, you know, being talked about in Colombo? Oh, yes, there was a lot of talk about that, asking his brother Mahindra Rajapaksa, the former president, to become the prime minister if Gosabi Rajapaksa becomes president. So there was a lot of speculation on that. But until now, it has not been made clear as to whether that is a definite decision that would be made by uh, Gosabi Rajapaksa. All right, on that note, Zulfik Farzan in Colombo, thank you so much for joining us on the phone line for this developing story. Appreciate it.